All right, so here here we are again. We're going to this place called Hog Wild. The original Hog Wild. All right, barbecue, barbecue again. Another another barbecue place because that that's all we know. That's what we do. We barbecue it up. Yeah, getting that motherfucking mm, that spice, mm. that sauce. Oh, so, oh, I like what you're so, doing. There. So, so what do they got there? They got they got ribs. They got they got pulled pork. This place they got, specializes uh, in pork. That's why it's called the Hog Wild because they got the hog. They're all about the hog up in this bitch. All right, so we got the hog, got the pork, got the the beef, the brisket. Yeah, they got some beef and they got some. They got, they got burgers there. With, uh, Probably, probably, probably it's burgers, probably. but they all about the pork. That's their thing, is the pork. Well, I, I, oh, I, I think I'm gonna try a try a full rack of ribs. I'm, I'm kind of in the mood for ribs. You tonight. want some ribs? Yeah, I want some ribs tonight. I want some ribs myself, but we'll see what they got. Look at, gotta look at this, this this road we're on. We're about to come up on some big ass metal bridge. That's that's where we is at right now. We're on the road with the bridge heading up to Midlothian, Illinois. Yeah. Hog wild. yeah, you better slow down at fucking 20 mile an hour speed limit. Alright, Zach here. We got my order here of the rib tips. Lighting sucks, but uh. They look pretty goddamn good. Uh, I got the potato cubes, applesauce. Oh, 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 and part two, part two, right over here. The walleye sandwich with lettuce, lemon, which I'm definitely gonna use. And some coleslaw. Oh, yeah, the crinkle fries. Now, over here to Steve's meal. What, what do we got here, Steve? We got the full rack of ribs, garlic bread. Got the French fries, the corn. I think it's cornbread. Yeah, that's corn, a corn muffin. Yeah, corn muffin bread, and then the baked beans, which looks like it has cut up hot dogs in it. <laughs> oh, it's it's like the little uh, the weenie, the wiener things. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like spaghettios with the hot dogs in it. But beans instead. I'm gonna say right now I'm glad I didn't get the beans. Mm -hmm. well, I'll, I'll tell you in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Steve's dove into his uh, full slab of ribs. He's gonna tell you all about it. Steve, what do you think of those ribs? I think they're pretty good, you know. They got a nice, nice sweet flavor to them. I mean, they're, they're, they're about falling off the bone here. I might have to go. Get a fork and eat them because every time I take a bite, they're falling down my face, falling on the plate. It's like I gotta just throw it up in the air, and then by the time it falls off the bone, I can just scratch it in my mouth. Like Definitely means they've been cooked just just well. Just the perfect amount, just the, right. just the right goddamn amount of tenderness, right, right amount of being cooked. I had the garlic bread already. The garlic bread was pretty good. Nice, nice side to complement these ribs. The garlic bread, like this. Like that. How about those beans? What do you think of the, the wieners in those beans there? It's a little different. I was a little iffy on at first, but they're nice. They're, it's nice and sweet. It's giving me like a barbecue aroma, you know, in my mouth. <laughs> it's a lingering barbecue aroma in your mouth. That's right. nice. They're nice and sweet. It's not like it's like they put some flavor. I will, it's almost like they put like sugar in it. Brown sugar. So what about you, Zach? How you how you feeling about that? Your rib tips right there. Well, goddamn. First of all, you want to lie in this garlic bread? This garlic bread is the shit. It's just like soft and oh my god. That's good. That's good garlic bread. All right. I, I agree with you on that. That is great at garlic bread. You can't make better garlic bread than that. All right, you see here though, I've already started on my rib tips. I finished one tip. It was fucking good. All right, who's got the most goddamn delicious barbecue I've ever had? That's the best get... you've ever had? Oh, hell yeah. Remember that fire water place that we went to? 
thing, shit, compared to this. I mean, this is the real deal right here. <laughs> Look what I got. Mmm. You got zip. So what about your uh, what about your walleye? Did you you didn't take a bite into that yet? I got a tip for you. This is good. I got a rib tip for you. This is fucking good. That little piece that I just I just saw off right there. Oh, it's all nice and chewy. It's like jerky. It's like pork jerky right there. It's a real nice, like chewy, smoked up piece of meat right there. Oh, it was delicious. That was smoky and delicious and good. And then the rest of this, the rest of this is real nice and tender. It's just, it's just like Steve's ribs there. I bet we got our ribs off the same goddamn cow because that was a fucking well-made cow, well-cooked. Well not grown cow. and I'm sorry, cooked. not cow pig. I'm going crazy here. Because I'm just so excited. Pig. We got our ribs off the same fucking pig. Why don't you try that wall? I let us know how it is. Going in for the wall. I'm glad they gave me lemon because I love lemon on fish. Now, for our viewers, for our viewers not from the Midwest, where are you? You might not be used to. Uh, something that we do out here in the Midwest, Fish Friday. You guys, the East Coast, West Coast, you get, you get fresh fish whenever you want, so you don't have to have a special day of the week. But out here, Fish Friday, that's what it's all about. All these restaurants out here, they have fish specials on Friday. And guess what day it is? Fucking Friday. Right? I no, no, that. you're wrong. It's fucking Fish Friday. It's Fish fucking Friday. Walleye Fish Friday. That's what it's all about here. All right. Midwest, Illinois. So you got your you got your tartar sauce on there. Oh, looks like you're adding more. There we go. All right. Thank you all the manual. That's got to be the hookup. How was that? What do I fucking tell you? The walleye. That's where it's at. The walleye sandwich. I thought you said it's at the rib tips. Sure, it's with the rib tips too. This whole meal, this is the package. This is this is the real raw deal right here. Except it's cooked. It, yeah, it's cooked. You're missing the point of what I'm trying to say, Steve. It's good. It's fucking delicious. You know, I'm sure you think you did all right with those ribs over there, but shit. I fucking broke the bank. I won the lottery. I'm making those stacks of fucking cash in well I'm losing the stacks of cash so this whole thing cost me 25 bucks but it's fucking worth it this sandwich is I'm gonna stop talking I need some more sandwich mmm that is perfect they fried that up real nice that lemon is just soaking in there soaking into that breading soaking into that fish it's like it's like I'm catching the fish in my mouth, like fresh out of the fucking lake. Alright, so, just got done with our meals at the, that Hog Wild. Damn, it was Hog Wild. That was a wild ass meal. A lot of hog. A lot of hog in my system right now. I gotta, I gotta say, I mean, that. <laughs> it may not look like a lot, the full rack of ribs and the, the cornbread, the corn on the cob, the french fries. But fuck. I am stuffed as a motherfucker. Oh my god! I, I, you, you can't get that taste of barbecue out of your throat. That nice sweet barbecue sauce they use. I mean, that's gonna be there for a while. Some people, <laughs> some people like their stuff hot. I'm not one of them. I mean, I, I can go for occasional hot sauce here and there, but I like, I like a sweet barbecue sauce. You know what I'm saying? I like I like to enjoy it. I don't want to, you know, I like bite into it and oh fuck, get the fire hose. Gotta put the goddamn fire out. Wait, hold on. Why steam coming out of my mouth? Shit, you could cook a fucking, you could slow cook a full brisket in my throat because it's on fire. All right. I feel what you mean. I mean, why do you why do you want a mouthful of fire when you bite into something to show off? It's all about the flavor. That's that's what you gotta do when you're barbecuing. Get some good flavor.